Hello, everyone. Welcome back to his Tech Time. Today, we're diving into the world of private web searching. To achieve complete privacy while browsing, your best bet is to opt for a hosted open source search engine or to take the reins by self-hosting one yourself. Mainstream search engines like Google tend to retain logs and contain third-party trackers that share your browsing data through cookies as well as constantly popping up advertisements. One route you can take is using an open source search engine hosted by someone you trust. For instance, Is Tech Time has their own search engine that I'll get into later just in this video. Or you can self-host the stuff engine yourself using Surex. Surex is a free internet meta search engine which aggregates results from more than 70 search services. Users are neither tracked nor profiled. Additionally, Surex can be used over Tor for online anonymity. So I'm gonna show you a side by side from Google and Surex right now. And we are going to do, to do its tech time on Google. I'm gonna do its tech time. Oh, my self hosted instance of Surex, which has the host name search ITS tech time. And as you can see, it is basically the same search results. Well, the added benefit of it telling you where the result came from underneath the result here. So most of these came from DuckDuckGo. So the first step is to have a host machine that Cerex is gonna be operating on. For this example, I'm gonna be using a Docker container on a DigitalOcean droplet, but you can use a machine at your house if you wanted to as well. If you're interested in trying out DigitalOcean yourself, I'll have a link to $200 credit for new users down below. Once you have created a new account with DigitalOcean, you simply click Create and then click Droplet. Choose the region that works best for you. I always go with Ubuntu in the most recent LTS version, which is 2204. And then I'm gonna go for the regular $6 a month Month and I always enable IP version 6 since it's free. And this is going to be Cirex NG. And I'll click Create Docker. And once the instance is created, we're going to copy the IP address and then go to a terminal and we'll connect as root. So now we need to install Docker on it if you don't already have it. So we're going to do sudo apt update. Then we're going to add the GPG key to the official Docker repository to our system. Now we're going to add the Docker repository to our, to our APT sources. We'll do a quick sudo apt update. Now we can do sudo apt install Docker CE for community edition. Now we need to install Docker and compose and that's a simple sudo apt install docker dash compose. So now the Docker is installed, we'll need to change directory to the slash user slash local. And once here, we're going to do a get clone of the official Cirex Docker image. All these commands will be found in the video notes down below. And so after you do your clone, you'll notice you'll have a Cirex directory. We're going to change directory to it. Now, first, I'm going to open that .env file, which is the environment file. Now, if you're self-hosting, there's no need to change anything on this file right here. I have a virtual private server, so I have to uncomment this line. So you'll need to put the IP address here. Or if you happen to have a domain name and you're going to link it to this file here, you'll put that extension here. If you have a domain name, you'll also want to put your email address so you can do less encrypt. But we're not going to do that for this example. So I'm just going to hit Control X, Control Y, and enter to save it. Now we need to create a private key specifically for this instance. And with this said command below, it's going to create the private key for us, automatically put it into the settings file for us. So we're gonna enter it. And again, all these commands can be found at the link below. And as everything stands, we can actually go ahead and start Docker if we wanted to. So we're gonna do a quick sudo docker compose up dash D. And as you can see, it's gonna pull three different Docker containers down. And then I'm going to run a quick docker ps minus a to make sure that they're up and they are in fact up. So now all I got to do is go to that IP address and we didn't enable that less than crypt. So we're getting an HTTP error and we're going to advance because this is our instance and we trust it. And there we are. We have a search engine that is already searching for everything and pulling up results similar to the last one. Now here's the Cirex example that I've had running for a couple of weeks now on my own private server. And as you can see, I have the host name search 
pointing to this. And then I have our is text time email set up for let's encrypt. So if I search, if I go to search is text time .com, I'm, I'm met with the Cirex ng screen. Now, some other things you might want to do is you can edit the settings.yaml file and you can set a specific host name for your tab up here. Like we have search is text time .com. And there's a lot of other settings you can do on here, which I'm not going to go into detail in this video. The other cool thing you can set in the YAML file is you can get stats from the different search engines and see what their speeds are. To edit that YAML file, what you're going to do is you're going to change directory into the Cirex ng file there. And let me make some space so you can see. Do LL and you'll see the settings.yaml file. So we'll simply do nano settings and so what i did was i created a general section and i turned debug off and i gave it an instance name search its tech time and i enabled metrics by setting to true and so we're going to do control x and y to save and enter you'll notice that it hasn't changed anything yet what you have to do before you can change anything is run a quick pseudo docker and compose down which will instantly take all three of those containers down and remove them. And then we'll do sudo docker compose up again. And if you go to the administrator documentation, there's a lot of settings you can change in the settings file. Way too many to go over in this one video alone. So I'll link this in the video description. Uh, be sure to go to the video notes on my webpage and you'll see these links that I'm talking about. So if you have any questions or comments, you, you can reach out to us through our contact page online or through our discord group that will be linked below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when a new video is released. And don't forget to share this video with anyone who might benefit from learning about online privacy. Thank you for watching and as always, stay curious, stay secure, and I'll see you guys in the next video.